news. Which would have been bad news, but death was thwarted. It was well. More Pegasus Knight saving village goodness. Tinny mooching some kills. Dancing and clearing things out for me. Basically all caught up to where they need to be, which is great. Now it may have been better at some point here for Julia to have just entered Leinster and repaired the warp staff. But I wasn't fully thinking things through, I guess. Yeah, that was a lucky charge. It pretty much allows me to finish off everything left remaining. In retrospect, Nana should have perhaps uh, done that after uh, Fetra was done blocking the road, because it turns out she would be one movement point short of what I wanted her to do. But, I don't know. Fourth night is only... Fourth I was only so far in advance. I kind of expected that the mage women would have more than just 1,000 gold on them. Which was why I was initially prepping Patty to steal the kill, but... Patty still uses the experience, so... The kill is just as well. Miss Elise is going north here because Favel is kind of an ass and can get in the way. I probably shouldn't have moved to the east with Finn, because I'm just going to move back to the west with him. When I realize that Finn is a better choice for, you know, stick around and be a warp toy for Julia than, than Shana is. But, yeah. So he, he's moving all the way back now. And this also means that he's going to occupy one position in the warp square that he didn't need to occupy. And I could have gone to somebody like, I don't know, Lester or Leaf or... somebody useful. So I'm going to send Yehova south. He's going to go pick up the villages from now on. Now Arthur's heading back home as soon as he can get his pony. Surprise, surprise.
everybody lines up out of Falcon's range. Now, Ishtar is still a very real threat, so we have the Missile Team Nuke take care of that, so that Patty can recruit Father in peace. She warps off with that Creep Julius. And then I, I, I convert to staves that aren't going to break on me. I could have perhaps chipped with the Rune Sword for some XP, but the Rune Sword is like, wholly weapon expensive, and that didn't seem like a good idea. So Lean has an amazing legs, and I managed to make it to this death square there, which is very useful. I changed my mind and I decided that I don't want to have Julia just stay by Lester, uh, Winster for the rest of her life. So she's going to start moving eastward, because I'm like, you know what? After I seize Canot, I can warp people there. And that would be useful. So that's kind of what her current goal is now. Let me start to uh, sneak in some kills on these armors here. They boast some pretty beastly defenses if uh, Celise can't take them down by herself. In the end, I managed to clear out the, uh, the three guards, but not the captain himself. And it's basically lining everybody up so that they're in range of Solis's authority and Dominic's charisma to protect against the incoming boltings on the enemy phase. Ahead. We made another save here, we'll get back to the action. Patty steals 3,000 gold, all as well. Tinny uh, steals some more kills. Stop the bleeding. Mm. 
Break our staff. Onward and taking care of the bolting brigade. On a lark, I tried using the berserk sword here. It paid off in full. So that's uh, I'm leaving him in heal range. Uh, so that Lana has something to do, and also so that he gets some health back. Likewise, Patty needs to get out of the range of uh, the boss that's bolting. Because I don't trust her at one hit point, so let's just put it bluntly. Continue to line people up. Detour is pretty much over. And then we also leave Wi-Fi in range so that Julia can heal. 